Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I have a message for you from the Lord that has seven scriptures. And they're all taken from the English Standard Version of the Bible, except for the one that is on the screen, which is from the King James Version of the Bible. The first is the book of Psalm, Psalm 144, verses 1 through 2, and it reads, Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. He is my steadfast love and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield and he in whom I take refuge, who subdues peoples under me. The second scripture is the book of Daniel chapter 12 verses 1 through 2 and it reads at that time shall arise michael the great prince who has ch charge of your people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never has been since there was a nation till that time but at that time your people shall be delivered every one whose name shall be found written in the book and many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. The third scripture is the book of Matthew chapter 7 verses 15 through 16 and it reads, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will recognize them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? The fourth scripture is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 51 through 52, and it reads, Behold, I tell you a mystery, which we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we shall be changed. The fifth scripture is the book of Second Peter chapter 2, verse 1. And it reads, But false prophets also arose among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you, who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the master who brought bought them bringing upon themselves swift destruction the sixth scripture is the book of jude chapter 1 verse 4 and it reads for certain people have crept in unnoticed who long ago were designated for this condemnation ungodly people who pervert the grace of our god into sensuality and deny our only master and lord jesus christ and the last scripture is the one that's on the screen which is the book of john chapter 14 verse 6 and it reads i am the way and the truth and the life no one comes to the Father except through me. Now for the message. Received from the Lord God on October the 16th, 2023. They are being marginalized, the Palestinians, dehumanized and insignificant. They will be victimized these Palestinians in Gaza. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. They are asked to step aside while their country is obliterated. They have waited many years from, for some type of solution, for someone who cares. They live their lives from day to day and year to year hoping someday it will get better for them, these Palestinians living in Gaza. They have religion, but are misguided. They are tough on the exterior, 
but they try to hide their trepidation and fear of what may happen to them. The terrorists took control over them and their land and their lives. They do not understand, nor do they apologize, for they believe it is their land. Satan has convinced them it is their land, when in reality the land is holy ground. It has been around since the time of Christ. This strip of land by the sea in reality begun belongs to God's people. The conflict will go on until they see me and know of me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All of my children must learn of me now, for I am coming back for them. Satan wants them to believe in other, in another religion, excuse me, one that glorifies a false god, Allah. This is no different than any other religion other than Christianity. Buddhism is another belief system, but there is only one God, the Father, God, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. This is the one to believe upon, and I am the Son, the only one who will save you from the destruction to come. It's coming soon, much chaos and devastation worldwide, not just in a Palestine state. You won't have to wait much longer for it to reach your shoreline, America. Be mine today, for I am your blessed hope, and I will take you away, all those who pray to be deemed worthy and are my faithful bride. I ride soon. Will you fly up to meet me in the air? Will you greet me or will you be unaware of who I am? All you need to be rescued from tribulation is me. Believe in your hearts today. Read about me in my word, the Bible, and pray asking me to forgive you for your sins right away. I will let you into the kingdom of heaven, but you must know me first. Love me as much as I do you. I am waiting for you with my arms extended. Don't wait until your world is upended. Now is the time to get on the ark. Hearken unto me and hear the trumpet blast. Will you be coming up with me at last? Or will you reject my free gift and be left behind for further refinement? Confinement is in your future, for the enemy has but a short time to rule the earth. Don't tempt fate, for the A.C. will rule soon. Then your faith on me will be forbidden. You will have to be hidden away and secretive about any display of Christian faith. Then the enemy will attempt to lure you away from me into his system of depravity and demoralization. Accept me now and have no regrets, for what lies ahead is uncertain without me as your foundation, your rock, and your high tower. With everlasting love, Jesus, the only way, the truth, and the life.